Okay, okay, two blighted guys left. They've got not a lot of HP. There's probably another one's gonna spawn any time now. Okay. Ooh, is that a cool... I think that's cooldown reduction. Ah, critical strikes reduce cooldown. That's less useful. Okay. How many key cards have we got? Key cards are pretty important on this final stage. There's a lot of good stuff you can get behind those key card doors. I believe you need... Yeah, you need... Or you need between three and four of them. There's actually... You can bypass one of the key card doors if you have enough... If you can get enough jump height. I don't think that three jumps is enough, but I think if we can get a jet pack, then we'll be able to bypass uh, the key card door. And actually, that would be a good key card door to have, too, now that we got the fireworks. There's a ton of chests in that one, so we could just, uh... Ooh, yeah. Meteor time! Oh, they're moving too fast. They're moving away from the meteors. Because, yeah, the best, the best way to use this item is when you're... Yeah, you're sitting up here. Like, you're sitting right above them, and they're, like, all grouped below you, just standing there like idiots. I actually don't think I can keep up uh, my DPS on these guys. I think... I think that they're spawning faster than I can kill them, which is uh, not a good situation. Okay, we'll actually abuse this banner here to maybe rectify that. Okay, snowball time. Looks like we got oh, we got a few stacks here. Okay, um, yeah, this is pretty decent. We're taking a bit more damage than I want, but I think we can handle it. Okay, that was... Oh, yeah, we got way... Oh, hell hell yeah. Oh, yeah, and we've got... I forgot, we've got our... Uh, we've got our bear buddy there, too, for the extra life. So, yeah, it doesn't even... don't even need to worry too much about dying, even. We can just get, like, a big stack of enemies and, like, suicide snowflake into them, basically. Okay, and now we've got tons of money. Um, which means, yeah, let's go spend it. Okay, we'll kill these monsters first and then go spend it. Okay, that guy's got still got a lot of health left. So yeah, we'll go go spend our money now. See what we can see what we can find about here. Have I got extra attack speed somehow? It feels like I'm shooting faster than normal. Maybe I was at low health for a second or something. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's work our way uh, from the top down. Or actually. We do have a lot of money, but it's actually not going to be nearly enough to open up, like, all of the stuff on this level. Ooh, Sprouting Egg, that's pretty decent. Faster health regeneration, which is good. Since, yeah, we seem to be going kind of a health regen approach, I guess, on this game, considering the items we've got. Ooh, more fireworks, awesome. Fireworks, again, not really useful at all against the final boss, but um, awesome for clearing the stage, and... Stuff that's awesome for the clearing for clearing of the stage will be awesome for getting items in the stage, which will... Oh, there it is. Fucking finally. Jesus. There we go. See see what a difference this makes? Holy shit, guys. Like, yeah, this is the way... This is the way freaking... Uh, help me out, guys. What's the name of this? <laughs> that's the way uh, Risk of Rain is meant to be played. <laughs> Although, yeah, it's not going to do us too much good here. Oh, hell, two bosses. Jesus. Wow, these are not hitting shit. There we go. That's a little bit of shit hit, at least. Okay. Um, I don't know if we want to stay here. I don't think that this... Yeah, this is not advantageous. I was kind of... I kind of want to kill these bosses, just because... Uh, or actually, you know what? I, I, can, I can lure them over. They're teleporters. I can lure them over to better terrain. Yeah, we can handle them over here. That'll be the way we do it. Because yeah, I want to kill these bosses, because bosses mean items. Oh my god, that was a big hit. What the hell did that? Okay, we need to kill some shit, like, pronto to get our snowball going, because damn. I'm getting quickly overwhelmed by this. God, there, yeah, there's too many damage. He's got, like, he's got, like, all these meat shields. I can't even get through to the boss. Okay, there we go. We're, we're getting him. Slowly but surely. Oh, he's up in front now. There he goes. Prison shackles. Worthless. We've already got him. Why are you giving me these worthless items, Risk of Rain? Is it because I forgot your name? Whatever, I guess I deserve it then. What a stupid thing to, like, forget the name of the game you're LPing. 
right in the midst of LPing it. I guess it isn't really... Is this an LP? I don't even really care. Uh, okay. Well, we're ma maintaining our money, at least. Still got enough to go around getting them items. Boxing gloves? Seriously? Okay, what I really need now is... What do I need? Probably attack speed would be nice, like some attack syringes would be really good. Um, some crit glasses would be really nice. A lot of a lot of those little tier one items that just boost your DPS by a little bit. Oh, uh, my healing drones are dead. I kind of want those guys. What are we on? Like, oh, we got three fireworks. Damn, yeah, I want, I want, I want to hit these guys just for the three fireworks. Boom, baby! That they all went up into the uh, blighted guy there and did hardly anything. So much for that. <laughs> oh well. Oh, you, you guys want to see some fireworks? We're going to show you some fireworks. Oh, in a moment, I guess, sir. Oh no, this is, yeah, this is where I started. So yeah, we can... There we go. Speed, speed, speed. All the way through the level. Isn't this so much more fun this way? Hey, awesome. We'll take that for sure. Glowing meteorite. Fantastic. Exactly what we needed. If you're s <laughs> that was my sarcasm there. If your sarcasm detector did not pick up my sarcasm, that was it right there. Jesus, come on, get off the ladder. Oh, what happened to my... Did my drones fucking die again? Oh no, there they are. They just got lost. Lost in the shuffle. Okay, um, let's meteor. It's time. It's really meteor? Is that all you got? Whatever. Fireworks! Ooh, yeah, making it rain. Oh, oh, yeah, fireworks equals kills equals snowflakes. Uh, yeah, we can, uh, yeah, kind of, kind of a bit slow on the draw there. If I'd have gotten in with the snowflakes sooner, we could have maybe taken care of those guys a bit faster. Okay. But yeah, we don't, we got decent, like, cl mob clearing items at this point. I don't know if we have decent, like, take on the final boss items yet, or I guess... I guess, actually, the main thing, I think, for the final boss might maybe be to rely on these healing drones. If we could just amass a ton of money to make sure that we can keep reviving our healing drones. Because, yeah, all you really need against the final boss is either damage or survivability, really. And survivability can really take, like, any number of forms. It's not too, too difficult to dodge the boss's attacks. The problem is, is that uh, if you don't have, like, a ton of health or anything, he'll just one-shot you, so you kind of have to play perfectly, which is certainly not something that I'm ever really capable of, so it would be nice to have a safety net. <laughs> yeah, like a safety net, like some kind of, I don't know, some kind of, like, white glowing teddy bear to restore us to life. Honestly, I, I don't think we really need to... Oh, we got terrible luck on the key cards, too. Man, we got one key card. Question is, which one do we want? So we've got the... So yeah, basically, there are, at this point, there are four doors we can go through. We can go through the one that's just a bunch of item chests, fire off a bunch of fireworks, get a bunch of items. Except, uh, we don't... Oh, wow, we are low on money. Okay, we're gonna have to farm us up some enemies here before we do any... Before we open any of these doors, because all of... And any door that we open is gonna cost us some money to get the items. Um, there's another door that has also chests, I guess. They're just slightly different ones. I think the payout on these blighted guys is pretty good, actually. So I think I'll, I think we'll actually kill this guy. He's pretty low. Except he's got his stupid jellyfish buddies to block for him. What a jackass. Okay. You know what? There's no reason to just dawdle around back here to deal with the jellyfish. They'll follow us anywhere we go. Oh god, blighted. Okay. Oh god, too blighted. This might actually work to our advantage. Um, but it probably won't. Okay, maybe I was mistaken. I'm gonna try to go do the back door triple jump into this room, but... Oh yeah, that's really high. I'm pretty sure I can't make that. Oh, which item do I want? Um, or if I want fireworks, first of all, to take care of all of this bullshit. That's on top of me. Hey, goat hoof! Perfect. That is really good. Okay. Um. Oh, is that my drones dead? Where'd my drones go? There's my drones. Hey, drones. Thanks for sticking around. 
Okay, get the goat hoof. Okay, can we do this? Two, three, not even remotely close. Wow, this meteor sucks. What are you doing, meteor? There is nothing over there. Why are you, are you exploding in places where there is nothing? Oh, well. Wow, yeah, we've gotten, like, no... I was thinking, like, oh, meteors, we can get, like, a bunch of money out of this by killing things, but... Nope! Oh, god, scavengers, really? I guess scavengers might be, like, a close second for, like... Or maybe even first as far as toughest enemies in the game. Certainly the toughest boss. Apart from the final boss, which is pretty challenging, I think. Okay, yeah, enough of this shit. I think I don't think we're gonna be able to handle this. I think I'm just gonna go straight for the final boss. Um, actually, in terms of the final boss, speaking of safety nets, I think we want. Oh, there's a syringe right there. Oh, I want that for sure. But I don't think I can get it. Okay. I think what I kind of want to do is to just scout these locations just to see if there's a key card behind any of them. All right, you know what? No, I think what's behind this door over here. So yeah, your options are basically chests, like a bunch of item chests, a bunch of slightly more expensive item chests, and a cannon that'll appear during the final boss fight that you can like activate to blow the shit out of them for t massive damage. And, uh, oh my fucking god, what happened there? I did not even, oh my god, what even? Oh well. I don't even know how much that actually cost. It looked like some of it was obscured there. Okay, and yeah, here we've got um, the surgical bed, which is basically each door kind of, other than the top left door, each door here kind of hides and contains an item that'll um, appear. You can activate it and it'll like teleport something into the final boss chamber that'll help you out of it. What we just activated there is a little health uh, like a little health terminal that'll appear during the final boss fight so that we can like we can restore our health. And that's, that'll be on, like, a cooldown, so we'll be able to restore our health periodically during the final boss fight, which is, uh, really, really useful. If you're kind of not that confident in your ability to survive against the boss. And yeah, that was our one keycard. Then, yeah, there's the big cannon that you can use to blow the shit out of him, and then there's, uh, the box that gives you, uh, random use items. Okay, gather up down there, and we'll see if we can make this work this time. Activate. Cool. Oh, nice! Oh, and we got a keycard out of it. Fantastic. That was even more effective. So, okay, that's that's the power. That's what I was talking about right there. That's the way you correctly use your meteor. And yeah, we've got another keycard to deal with. Um, considering that I was just talking about how our damage might not be up to snuff. Although, although, hmm. Considering the damage might not be up to snuff, I think actually the cannon might be the way to go. Yeah, we'll go for the cannon here, I think. Just to show it off as well. Okay. Cannon teleported in. Get ourselves some nice missiles as well. And actually, yeah, considering that most of the items we want at this point are actually tier 1 items. Or at least I'd say there's, on average, more... Oh, yeah, there, there it is. Syringe. And more uh, guardian bullshit. Oh, what? What? Get on the ladder! Jesus! Oh, that was bad. Wow, we got so much healing, though. Wow, we were, like, down to, like, less than half health. And, oh, hey, crit and missiles and slow down. Oh, we got everything we want here. So glad I, so glad I picked this door. Actually, I think what I'll actually want to do is, uh... Yeah, you guys can just uh, bundle up in this corner here. I'll just wait for your slightly overweight slow... Oh, is that a... Is that an electric? What the hell is that? Oh, that's, that was my electric. And then, yeah, we are gonna meteor the shit out of you dumbasses. Booyah! Okay, not quite as effective as the previous one, but, um, still pretty damn good. I think we can finish these guys off with, uh, some regular damage. Oh, did he kill my drone there? It sounded like he killed my drone. Oh, wow, that, that killed all of them. Fantastic. And I, they didn't even kill my drone. Great. Oh, there's another blighted guy. Um, I think we're actually good on items. No need to... 
tempt fate at all. I think we got everything we need for the final boss, so let's just, uh, go for it. Oh yeah, I forgot, I kind of want money for the final boss just to be able to resurrect my heal bot, which might not e actually even survive till I make it to the final boss. Holy damn. Okay. Maybe wait for the exclamation point to go away from my heal buddy. Actually, no. Let's just banish the enemies. Those guys were piling up a bit too heavily for my liking. And here it is. Providence. The final boss. Um, actually, for, for all my shit-talking about the teleport skill of the Huntress uh, throughout this play, uh, this playthrough, um, it's actually pretty effective against Providence. You can kind of deal with just about all of his attacks using this. Um, it, the cooldown is a little bit long to be, like, super-duper effective, but, um, yeah, you pretty much don't have to worry. Like, I was talking about, like, how, yeah, if you can evade his attacks, you're fine. Huntress is probably one of the better classes for doing exactly that, just getting out of the way when he, like, teleports down on you. And again, this, uh, the, uh... Well, we lost the healing drone, but it looks like we don't even need it. We're not, like, not just not even gonna take damage against this guy. Oh, yeah, and speaking of, yeah, same principle applies with the use items as with the, uh, big cannon here, which is, uh, use it early and often so as to get maximum usage out of it. Oh, he's doing the pink thingies. I was expecting him to teleport down here on me, but... Okay, so yeah. Um, yeah, this guy's attacks are all pretty obvious, I guess. You've kind of seen pretty much everything he can do at this point. He can send little shockwaves around the ground that you've got to jump, which is actually really, really difficult to avoid if you don't have the uh, double jump. Uh, like, the, like the, the height of the shockwaves he sends is, like, not... A, it's just slightly lower than your regular jump height. And yeah, he's got this little purple thing, which just you, puts little markers out that show you where things are going to explode, and you got to not be where the things are when they explode. And yeah, simple. And then he just uh, sword swipes you if he gets close enough, and he'll teleport down on you and try to sword swipe you. And that's pretty much everything he does. At least for the first phase. Like, honestly, you you, you know this isn't it. You can see, they, they don't even pretend that this is, like, the real final boss. You can see, you can see the health bars, like, right behind his main health bar right now. Or even if you don't realize their health bars, you're about to realize it in a moment. Because he is dead. We have proven to be a challenge. And now, we get two magma worms, or gilded worms, or, yeah, I guess they're gilded worms. Which are, uh, not terribly difficult. It's basically, it's not even really the same as a magma worm at all, really. They just kind of, yeah, circle about and... In fact, a uh, meteor would, is really good for dealing with these guys. Oh yeah, look at that damage. Oh wow, that was even more effective than I remembered. Okay, and now we go, we're go. we on for round two. He does basically all the same things here as he did in the first round. Um, except he's got a couple uh, uh, robot buddies which complicate things a bit, and he's got another attack, which I am going to try not to trigger before I deal with the robot buddies, because, um, you'll see. Basically, I don't want robot buddies and his last attack, quote-unquote, active at the same time. So, yeah, we're gonna try to kill these guys before he does it. And, yeah, he will, he will do, he will automatically trigger his, uh, one other attack once he gets below a certain health threshold, so... Yeah, we're gonna... Whoa! We're gonna try to kill the robots before we deal any damage to him. Or, you know, any damage. But, but before we get him down too low, although it seems to be kind of just happening incidentally. Oh, I think he's gonna do it soon. Nope. Okay, that's good. Almost got the robot buddies down. Oh, damn. I kind of wish Providence were a playable character. He seems like he's, like, just kind of the right size to, like... You know, and he, in the move set and everything, he, it's just like based on like his move set and his size, you think like he could almost be like another playable character. Okay, there's his other attack where he just sends off like a basically blighted Providence. He send off sends off like a shadow doppelganger at you who has, bit, yeah, he has all the same attacks as the regular Providence uh, with one minor difference, which will probably show up soon. Okay. Yeah, I, def I definitely want to... So, yeah, the rope, the Shadow Doppelganger will... Okay, here it is. He's got a slightly different version of the Purple Explosion attack, which uh, basically just kind of... Instead of, you know, forming the explosions right on top of you, 
it uh, just kind of forms them in a random cloud around you and uh, does a ton more damage. I believe it's like a, it reduces you to one HP regardless of your health, I think, is the way that those things work. But yeah. Uh, he won't, once you got the doppelganger taken care of, he will not use it again until he gets below another life threshold. So it's basically there, and there it is right there. So yeah, he'll use the doppelganger twice, provided you don't, like, just kill him super fast before he gets a chance to y use it, which which you can do on those uh, uh, those runs that I'm, like, those runs that I mentioned, where you just go through the game, like, every level in the game multiple times to get, like, 50 of every item. Then you can kill Providence before he does the shadow doppelganger. Oh, God. And yeah, it seems kind of scary. Whoa. And again, Huntress, pretty good class for getting away from those things when they're about to spawn on top of you. Man, still not, not enough uh, money to resurrect any of our drones. Or actually, we can get these over here. Might as well, just for the fireworks, get that extra damage going. Oh, and I think we actually killed the shadow. Oh, God, get off the ladder. Okay, but yeah. Um, Providence, not honestly too difficult. As long as you... Basically, yeah, you want a double jump to be able to get away from the shockwave. And uh, you want some damage. Which you can... If you, even if you don't have damage, you can substitute that by just getting the the, the big cannon key card. And uh, yeah, that's it. Huntress. What is that? Six attempts, I think. Uh, certainly much better than the first time I was going through trying to beat the game with every class. And so she left, her soul still remaining on the planet. What are you do what are you doing, lady? Take your soul with you. You need that. Presumably, I don't know. What do you need a soul for? Evidently nothing. She was apparently able to kill all the monsters quite fine without it. And yeah, that is Risk of Rain Huntress class. That's uh, one down and X to go. I think there's, what, like 12 classes in this game, I think? Maybe 10 or 11? I don't know. Um, anyways, oh, is it gonna... Whatever, we'll wait out the credits. So, uh... Are we gonna wait out the credits now? Okay, will it... Actually, I think we do actually have to wait out the credits. There's no way to skip this, and I'm afraid that if I go return to main menu, it won't give me my, uh... Like, you know, my new records and my end game tally and all that stuff. And I just noticed, ugh. Like, I, I, I kind of mentioned in my Baku log playthrough for this game that I'm not a huge fan of the art style of this game. And yeah, it's, I just kind of noticed, unlike your, like, the character on the left there holding the guitar and stuff, it's just like, I don't know what it is, but is that, it's just me, or is that, like, just, like, this big, like, hairy schlong hanging down on, like, his left leg? Or like, you know, his left or right. The, his, the right leg. It's like, you, you see where it's like the little orange dealies is like hair and you've got like the balls and then the head at the end is just... I really don't like the art style in this game is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, although, yeah, just because just we have to end it on a down note because clearly <laughs> not happy at all about having, yeah, beaten the... Game with the Huntress on our sixth attempt. That's actually um, about what I was expecting, to be honest. It was about, like, between, like, I don't know, five to eight attempts with each class, barring, like, the ridiculously hard ones, or I think would probably be Enforcer, and... Honestly, I thought Huntress would be one of the harder ones as well. But yeah, it went relatively smoothly. So yeah, that's going to be it for... Yeah, that, that's going to wrap up the Huntress. Risk of Rain. Um, no new records other than the score, somehow. I don't know how you set a new record for score when you don't have records set for any of the things that give you score. Unless maybe it's by class. I don't know. Is that actually a new record? 40... 46... Okay, so we got 462k. Oh, and we got a new monster log. It's nice. Forgot about that. <laughs> Um, top score is 462k. Not even close to a new record. What the hell? Or is that like an, a like a total like the sum of our top scores? Um, yeah, it does not really have a thing for. Yeah, it really doesn't show you like your highest score. Like the way it's presented, he, the way it's presented here makes it look like this total here is like the sum total of all of your records, which is, eh. 
Um, anyways, and yeah, this bit down here doesn't work, so you've got to return to main menu from here for some reason. And which monster log did we get again? I don't actually remember. Remember. Who cares? All it is is some shitty artwork and... Oh yeah, I remember. It was the, uh... Scavenger. What do they got to say about the Scavenger? Wow, he looks completely different on here. Oh, I guess it's because he's got, like, all the equipment and stuff. Flavor text is nice. I'm not a... Like I said, not a fan of the artwork. The flavor text is really nice. I almost wish there were, like, a bit more story in this game, if anything. I don't know. I always like story in games. It has, like, a nice little bit of flavor. Not that I really particularly miss it here, I guess. It would be a nice thing to have, but honestly, the game is the game is great without it. Um, I'm just rambling at this point. Anyways, yeah, that's going to do it for the Huntress. Um, as ever, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. We're, what are we going to play next time? I think we're going to do... We'll make it the chef. We're going to do a chef run. Chef runs starting on the next video. So yeah, stay tuned for that, and uh, yeah, see you then.